Hello and welcome to this week's Panel Me. Here are my supplies, my Statler fine liners, my mechanical pencil and a whole range of Tombows. And here is last week's spread. Looks good doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I need to catch up. Here's Cartoon Doodles. Looking good so far, I'm enjoying it. All the uh, second part of my Hanna-Barbera challenge. Lots of old school cartoons, it's really nice. So I'm going to set this weekly up very similar to last time. I'm going to split my uh, first page into kind of a functional page with a habit tracker, to-do list and waiting box. And then uh, the next part of it is split into dailies. So I split it into three columns. I think it's eight squares and then two squares coloured in and then seven squares. Two squares coloured in and seven squares. Not quite sure what I was going to do with my to-do box or to do do it in a Tombow colour. I decided against that and went with the uh, Datler 1.0 so it's nice and thick. And the same for my waiting box. Here I am outlining my uh, weekly habit slash chore tracker. I like to have it on my page because it reminds me to uh, get all my jobs done and fill all my trackers and bits in. And again I've outlined that in a 1.0 Statler. Makes it stand out and keeps it nice and bold. And I, uh, you saw me counting then just to make sure I didn't make the same mistake as I did last week. All the inside lines are drawn with a 0.1 Statler. I really like the contrast between the thick and thin lines, that's why I use the two. There I am, look, filling in meals. It fits, I didn't make a mistake. And my days of the week down the side. And then the first few on here are kind of my chores. So I've got dishes, making sure they're washed up every day, putting the children's toys away. And I used to have washing in there, but I have that in my monthly habit tracker. And it wasn't until last week that I realized that I was putting it in twice. Um, and then I have a gratitude column to make sure that I fill in my gratitude log and uh, same for habits making sure I fill in that monthly habit tracker and then I've got one for Instagram trying to post every day one for YouTube it's not really to post every day it's more to just keep a track of when I am posting um, and then my challenges so we've got cartoon doodles which you saw at the beginning of a moment ago uh, rando doodles hosted by llama letters and uh, Llamas Love letter Lettering Every Damn Day. It's also hosted by Llama Letters Lettering Challenge. Now I am like, filled in my to-do and my waiting list. And then here's my days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The rest of the week will be on the second page, which you'll see a little later on. And I've try to speed this up as much as possible. This is my doodle this week. I've gone for a coral reef and some fish. I'm still not quite into this theme this month. Struggling to find inspiration really. I'm getting a little bored of the weekly layout so I might rejig things again next week. But if you have any suggestions for doodles next week, let me know below. Because, yeah, I'm running out of ideas now. It's odd because I'm currently designing a custom bullet journal for a customer. And uh, he's given me a list of themes that he'd like. And I keep getting like, kind of jolts of inspiration. Oh yeah, I could do this or that. I'm not getting it from mine yet, I'm not getting it from my own bullet journal. <laughs> There's my fish. I 
and then adding the drop shadow to my boxes. God, I have a drop shadow. So despite not filling in the second half of last week's weekly, which I will do, I will catch up, I, um, I have really enjoyed using stickers again this week, especially using up all the uh, new supplies I've got from Laura Jane Style. Her poppets are just adorable. And if you go to her Etsy shop and use the code SJBUJO10, you can get 10% off, which is awesome. Here I am doing the bubbles into those columns. Again, really simple this week. And lettering August. I know my lettering sucks, but it'll do for this week. Just checking the date there, making sure I put the right one in. And here I am adding some colour to that doodle. Tombos, using my new ones. I seem to be buying them individually at the minute. Because if you're in the UK, Cork Pens have uh, a deal on till the end of August. Where you buy three for the price of two. And it's actually cheaper to buy a pack's worth doing it that way than it is to buy the pack. You might have seen me blending there in a very lazy way, rubbing the tips of the point of the uh, tombos together just to get the colour to swap over a bit. Incredibly lazy way of doing it today. Did the job though. And at this point I realised that my rock in the grey there looked a bit plain and a bit lifeless. So I colour in the background. Still not sure where I should have left it white although I do like that blue colour and then I'll go back in in a minute to that rock and add a bit of detail just a bit of shading just to try and make it look a little more real rather than just a plain grey space there we go my first page done. On to the second. And this will have the last four days of the week. I have to turn my bujo up side down to be able to do these lines. It's hard being left handed and trying to film at the same time. A little bit straighter this week. She says. Now I'm counting out space for my uh, Lambs Love Lettering Every Damn Day Challenge box. I've made the box slightly wider this week. And I wasn't sure again whether to do it in Tombow or to do it in the pigment liner, but I went for the Statler. And as I said last week, it splits quite nicely because there's 37 squares up the page in a uh, scribbles that matter. So if I use the top two as my title and then I can split the rest of the column into seven boxes of five squares, it works out really nicely. I went in with the Tombow on this and I'm not sure if I've ever done it with the blue because this page is incredibly blue. I'm hoping that when I add some stickers in it won't be quite so obvious. there's a title. Again I abbreviated Lama's Love Lettering because it's just not going to fit. And there's Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday going in. Check my dates, making sure I'm okay. And 
the bubble. very simple but I do like the way it looks at the end once it's all done There we go. I think I'll have a drop shadow in this minute. Yeah, there we go. Nothing particularly exciting this week going on. House is looking good. Kitchen's sorted pretty much. Looks like an actual kitchen now. And you can see I just realised that I'd written to do and waiting in the 0.1. It looked a little odd with all the other headings being in the 1.0. So I just really went over that in a very sloppy way. <laughs> and I'm just going over all the titles with this great Tombow. There we go. Finished. Ta -da! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, click subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.